Hey, my name is Crystal Haynes and today I'm going to talk with you about how Facebook has changed the world. I challenge you to ask any person over the age of 50 the following questions. When you were a teenager, did you ever think it would be possible to contact over 600 million people at one time? And you could do this without ever having to leave your house and just pressing one key on your keyboard? The most likely response you would get to this question would be one of disbelief. Today I will discuss how Facebook has changed, made this task possible and has, made, has become the world's largest social network. Any person can become a member of Facebook. I became a member in 2008 and I am just one of the million people that log in to this giant social network. During my presentation about the giant social network called Facebook, I will talk about how it was created, its history, and how two of its applications have concerned the online market in their field. First. Let's talk about who was responsible for creating Facebook, or THE Facebook, as it was known back then. According to Sarah Phillips' article, A Brief History of Facebook, published in The Guardian on July 2007, she gives the founding credit to Mark Zuckerberg. Mark was a college student at Harvard University and was majoring in psychology. He was also known as a king computer programmer. He had developed a no number of other social networking sites for fellow students. They consisted of course match, which allowed students to view other people that were taking the same degree as they were, and face smash, which was a site where people could rate people on their attractiveness. Along with Mark Zuckerberg, the co-founders of Facebook included fellow classmates at Harvard. Dustin Moskowitz was his college roommate and the chief technology officer. Eduardo Severin served as the business manager, and Chris Hughes was known as the spokesman. Second, we will talk about the history of Facebook and how it became the largest social network in the world. According to Bill Petro's article, History of Facebook, The Social Network at Seven, on February 3, 2011, the Facebook adventure all started in February 2004, but back then, it was only allowed to college students or people who had email addresses ending with .edu, but in September 2006, that all changed. It was, allowed, it was available for anyone who had a registered email address and became free for anyone to join. This alone made it the fastest growing social network in history. In January 2009, it has surpassed MySpace with over 58% of its users outside of the U.S. There are also over half a million applications on Facebook and these continue to grow daily. Petro mentions that people live in Facebook and it is a place where they can send messages, receive messages, update their status, um, comment on other people's statuses, announce events, photo, tag photos, share photos, chat, use cu custom applications, and you can do this all by using one server, and that is Facebook. Today, Facebook is becoming the go-to location for clubs, groups, and also other events. Third, we will talk about the two largest applications that Facebook offers. First, we will talk, look at its role in photo sharing. David Gell's article, Facebook's Grand Plan for the Future, published December 3, 2010 in the Financial Times states, Facebook has reshaped, reshaped the photo industry online. He notes that Facebook has expanded and surpassed Flickr, which was known as the largest photo sharing site on the web. He states that the credit that made this possible was the ability that Facebook gives to tag people in photos. And being able to, and this is, allows you to link them back to their profile. In addition to the photo industry, Facebook has over, also overturned the gaming industry. Jail states that in 2007 it began allowing outside companies to build simple applications and games that run on Facebook.com. Um, with the gaming application proving to be most popular, Zynga became the largest social gaming company and took in revenues in excess of over 600 million this year. Today, about 200 million people use and play games on Facebook, which is more than Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and Wii combined. To me, that's hard to believe. So today, we have looked at Facebook, the largest social networking company in the world. We have talked about Mark Zuckerberg and his co-founders of this mega networking giant. Next, we looked at the history from the beginning of 2004 to present day 2011. Finally, we took a look at the two largest applications Facebook has to offer, that being the photo industry and the gaming industry, which has also overtaken the networks in their field. So the next time you would think about how you can contact over 600 million people with just one press of a button, 
think about Facebook because it gives you this option. And that number is growing every day by the thousands. Thank you.